Hi guys, this is Phil with C-Choice. Uh, today we find ourselves out of the office doing some uh, repairs on my buddy's boat and trailer. Uh, this boat here is a 1998 uh, low roughneck John boat style. It also has uh, a trailer. The trailer is probably from 1998 too, by the way it looks. As you can see, there's a lot of rust on the trailer. Uh, but we're gonna fix some of that today. What we have here is a 1100 uh, pound trailer winch. As you can see, it's been rust rusted here. The uh, clip is completely rusted out and broken. Uh, so we said, hey, we'll get you a new one. So I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna actually put a larger jack uh, trailer winch, excuse me, on it. We're gonna put a 2000 pound Sea Choice trailer winch. And I'm gonna show you how this, this model here, we can take it right off. The holes in the Sea Choice model will make for a quick, easy installation and a very do-it-yourself do it uh, type of project on your old trailers, uh, just to pretty them up a little bit and fix them for the most part, right? For safety, you wouldn't want anything to happen uh, because you have an old rusty trailer winch. So let's give it a go. So right here we have the 2000 pound uh, Sea Choice trailer winch. We're going to replace the old model. Here's the old rusty model I took off a few minutes ago. We're gonna replace it with this. As you can see, it's uh, much larger. Um, but it actually fits, believe it or not, and the holes line up perfectly. So we're gonna throw this one on there. Put our bolts in before we lay it on top of the frame. Um, we're gonna put it in the middle hole furthest to the back. So one bolt there. I'm gonna line that one up first. And this one's a little bit easier to access, so I could slide this one in there. There we go. So we're using the same bolts that were with the old uh, winch. Uh, they're still in good shape. It's fit the holes, fit the winch. Put the lock washer underneath, we'll tighten it up with this bolt. I'm gonna do it hand tight as far as I can go. Then using a, uh, what number do we have here? 916 uh, ratchet. We're going to, uh, Fasten these guys down. So last we just have to attach the handle to the winch and then I can demonstrate uh, the strap going in and how you would let the boat go out, the line go out. Um, so use the spring loaded lock, locking mechanism. Lock it down. Decide which uh, gear ratio you wanna put your handle on. Just line it up and then guide it on like that. Then it snaps into place and that's, that's the lock. So right now it's locked, it's not gonna come off. And then uh, to, to bring the line in, this would remain down. Then you spin it clockwise. And then as you can see, I'm bringing in the slack on that line. And, and now it's, the rope is taut. Uh, then if you wanted to release it, uh, you pull up on this lever here. Sometimes it gets stuck, uh, a way you can if it's too tight on there, you have to give it some tension to give it some slack to let this spring come up. So you get a little bit of tension, you know, you pop that up. And then uh, if you're on a boat launch and you're, the gravity is gonna pull the boat off the, uh, the trailer, you know, all of a sudden your boat's gonna be in the water without you. So uh, what I like to do is you let out a little bit of line at first, and then I'd lock it in again. And then one, that way you let your boat go into the water, the boat starts to drift off the trailer. You know, there's takes out a little bit of the line and then you can come back once the boat's in the water, you have someone managing the line, then you could uh, pop it up again and then slowly control the amount of line that you wanna let out. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, I was glad this bigger model was able to fit on the same trailer, same holes made it, made it pretty easy for me. First time I've ever done that and uh, not too bad. So thank you for watching and uh, more, more to come.